Hi guys, let's continue with the base system here. So this is a question here. If LCM of 51 base K and 15 base K plus 2 is 180 in base 10 and GCD is 9 in base 10, right? What is GCD? HCF. So GCD is basically meaning HCF here, right? So what is the value of K? So it's a simple question only, right? So because we know that when two numbers are given, two numbers are given and the LCM and HCF are given. So what is the relation? Relation is LCM into HCF. Should we write here? Right. LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers that is N1 into N2. Okay. N1 into N2. So now LCM is 51 in base K. Change everything to base 10. So 51 in base K will become 5K plus 1. 50 in base uh, K plus 2 will become 5K plus 10. Okay. And then is equal to 180 into 9 in base 10. Right. So try to, uh, we can solve for K a quality question here. Right. But try to keep uh, uh, logical. Right. That means basically the difference of trade. This is first term here and this is second term here. And this is 5K plus 1. This is 5K plus 10. Difference of these two terms is 9. So try right side also try and write in terms of difference of 9. So if you observe a little bit, so basically 180 is uh, 2 is square into 3 is square into 5 and 9 is 3 is square. So what combination I can make here is to make a difference of 9. So I can simply observe 3 square into 5 becomes 45 and 2 is square into 3 is square becomes 36. That becomes 5k plus 1 into 5k plus 10 is equal to 36 into 45. So here also, here also difference of 9 between two, these two terms. Here also difference of 9 between, between these two terms. That means 5k plus 1 is 36. Therefore, k is equal to 7. So k7 is the answer. So equate anyone, either 5k plus 1, 36 or 5k plus 10 equal, 10 equal to 45. That means k equal to 7. So k equal to 7 is the answer. Right? Okay. Next question. If 5 and 8 are the roots of quadratic equation, quadratic equation x square minus 10x plus 31 is equal to 0, okay, in a certain base system, in a certain base system, Okay, then find the, then find the base. Then find the base, right? Okay, let's solve it here. So, uh, this x square and 10x 31 are in different base here. So, let's assume that base is b here. So, x square minus 10 into some bx plus 31 into some base B is equal to, now this equation is quality equation equal to if 5 and 8 are the roots of the quality equation. So if I know that if 5 and 8 are the roots, so if 5 is the root, x minus 5 is the factor of that equation. If 8 is the root, then a, x minus 8 is the factor of that equation. That means this is equal to what? The original quality equation, equation is what? x minus 5 into x minus 8. This is the quadratic equation. Right now, what we can do here is just solve it now. So it will become x square minus bx plus 3b plus 1. Okay, is equal to x square minus so it will become minus 13x minus 13x plus 40. Correct. So if I little bit compare here, so here coefficient of x is b and here coefficient of x is 13 minus minus same. That means b equal to 13 looks to satisfy it, right? Let's check for the other one also. So yes, if 3b1 equal to 40, then b13 will satisfy that. Therefore, base value is 13 here. So 13 is the answer. If we can just compare it, we compared left hand side to right hand side. 
So I'm comparing this B and 13 are same. Even if B 13 I put, so 3B plus 1 equal to 40. That means B equal to 13 is fine. So answer is B 13. This is the answer for this question. Okay. Let's look at next question here now. 32 in base n into 13 in base n minus 1 is equal to 198 in base n plus 4. Okay. So what is the value of n from here? Right? Let's solve it. So if you want to solve it here, this becomes 3n plus 2 into this becomes n minus 1 plus 3 is equal to n plus 4 whole square into 1 plus n plus 4 into 9 plus 8 into n plus 4 is to 0 that is 8 only okay that is 8 only right okay now let's try to solve this this becomes 3n plus 2 into n plus 2 is equal to n is square so i'm solving this side i'll get right n plus 4 9 8 no so n is square will come plus 16 plus 8n for first part the second part 9n plus 36 plus 8 this i'm getting right so now you can again further solve it this becomes 3n is square plus 6n plus 2n plus 4 is equal to n is square plus 17n plus 60 right so again further solve it it becomes 2n is square minus 11n sorry it is 8n no minus 9n minus 9n minus 56 minus 9n minus 56 is equal to 0 right so you can solve for this so as a quality question 56 into 2 is 112 so 56 into 2 is 112 and 16 into 7 is 112 so you can just write like 2n square minus 16n plus 7n okay minus 56 is equal to 0 2n i took common n minus 8 7 i took common n minus 8 is equal to 0 right therefore n is equal to 8 and n is equal to minus 7 by 2 which is not possible base cannot be negative so therefore answer is n is equal to 8 okay n is equal to Eight. this is the answer for this question okay I hope it is clear yeah. okay so let's do a concept here a very good concept okay in any base n in any base n 1 by k has terminating decimals has terminating decimals only if only if k has primes that means prime numbers primes that are included in n that are included in n right so for example for example in our base 10 right in our base 10 so 10 involves basically two primes here 2 and 5 so whichever numbers will involve 2 and 5 right so k 1 by k has terminating decimals only if k has primes that are included in n that in, that means if k includes 2 and 5 either of these numbers right that means let's say if 1 by 2 or 1 by 5 or 1 by 2 into 5 or 1 by 8 or 1 by 40 any such number right so all such numbers have terminating decimal that means i don't i won't get a non -termin terminating decimal here right so i won't get a non terminating decimal here right all decimals will terminate in this case obviously 1 by 2 is 0.5 1 by 5 is 0.2 1 by 8 is uh, 0 0.125 like that huh? 1 by 40 also so all are good all are terminating decimals here so 
if in any base n if k has the primes that are included if k has primes that are included in an n that means 1 by k will have terminating decimals otherwise it will be non terminating right so using this concept you can solve few good questions here because uh, uh, this these are good concepts okay so this kind of cons is very logical and aptitude apt good aptitude questions these are right so let's write one question here For how many? For uh, let's do it. Let's do it next page. Here. Let's do it next page. Okay. For how many natural numbers? Less than hundred. Okay. Less than hundred. One by n has how many n natural? It's like how many n natural numbers less than hundred? 1 by n has terminating decimals 1 by n has terminating decimals there is a question here right so if i want to solve this question here so i'll what i'll look i'll use the previous funda that okay 1 by n has terminating decimals if we are talking if that uh, n is if the primes of the base are included in n okay so if primes of the base are included in n so if nothing is given that means base is 10 if nothing is given that means base is 10 base 10 means 2 into 5 so whichever whichever number contains whichever number contains 2 or 5 or any power of 2 or 5 right all those numbers will have terminating terminating decimals that means basically n must be of the form n must be of the form of 2 raised to a into 5 raised to b obviously right because 1 by n has got terminating decimals so n has to contain 2 or 5 or both right so n is of, of the form 2 raised to a into 5 raised to b so how many such numbers till 100 now till 100 that means i can count here so first way of counting is all the powers of 2 from all the powers of 2 from 2 raised to 0 to 2 raised to 6 that means 7 values obviously obviously maximum would be 6 because 2 raised to 6 is 64 i can't go beyond 100 2 raised to 7 is 128 okay second way is for powers of 5 okay so already we have counted this 2 raised to 0 1 here right so 1 is already counted here so both uh, a and b okay so it has to contain terminating decimals for all the numbers below 100 right so 5 could be here 1 or 2 5 raised to 1 or 5 raised to 2 that means two values here right already 0 is counted in 2 raised to 0 only okay third one now for combinations of 2 and 5 okay it could be 2 into 5 one possibility both are 1 1 or 2 into 5 square right so single power of 2 i can multiply 5 or i can take 2 into 5 square i can't take 2 into 5 cube that becomes 125 so again two values and then look at the uh, higher powers of 2 here right so with 2 square i can take a 5 but i can't take 5 square because it becomes 100 okay then with 2 square i can take a uh, I, I can't take any other, other powers of 5 then for 2 cube okay then for 2 cube I can take again 1 5 huh. then for 2 raised to 4 I can take again 1 5 right so again I can't take now 2 raised to 5 here because it will 32 into 5 160 so again 3 values here 3 values so 7 plus 2 9 plus 2 11 plus 3 14 so total 14 values are of n are possible 14 values that is the answer so these are quite good questions right because after reading you don't understand the question so this is a basic understanding for how many n natural numbers less than 100 1 by n has terminating terminating decimals right terminating decimals so this basically means that if in the last uh, slide we saw that if n contains or if the denominator contains in last slide 
k was denominator here n is denominator so if denominator contains the primes which are included in the base like in base 10 the primes are what 2 and 5 if they are included in the denominator that means those numbers will have terminating decimals right those numbers will have terminating decimals otherwise it would they will all have non terminating decimals okay so let's do one more question here on this Okay, so question is how many different values of n are possible? How many different values of n are possible? n being positive, where n is positive. such that expansion of 1 by n terminates terminates when written in base 57 and base 57 and base 323 okay n is less than 10,000 this is a question here right so how many different values of n are possible if n is positive such that expansion of 1 by n this basically this all n are same actually it's not capital n small n only okay a small n so 1 by n terminates when written in base 57 and base 20, 323. So again, right. So if you're writing in base 57 and base 323, and in both the cases, n, n is terminating, that means n contains a prime from the base, right? So if 57 is the prime, okay, if 57 is the prime, in that case, so what is 57 here? So basically 57 is basically 57 is 3 into 19 and 323 is if you solve 19 into uh, is 19 7 you know? so 19 into 17 okay so 57 is 3 into 19 and uh, 323 is this uh, 19 into 17 that means if i am writing in 1 by n form that means n includes n includes primes of bases n includes primes of bases so it has to satisfy both the case because so in base 57 also and base 323 also number is having a or number is terminating is in decimals right that means it has to satisfy both the conditions so common in both the parts is 19 right that means basically n must be formed n must be of the form 19 raised to a any power of base right we have seen the last question powers of 2 from 0 to 6 powers of 5 from 0 to uh, 1 to 2 so any power of base will do so n must be of the form 19 raised to a and since it is less than 10,000 that means n can take three values 19 raised to 0 19 raised to 1 so n can take four values 19 is square that is 171 and 19 cube 171 into 19 and roughly you can say it is around 3000 something right so if you are again going to multiply by 19 that is 19 raised to 4 it goes to 57000 something so that is not possible below 10000 right so four values 1 2 3 4 so four values are the answer four values okay so i hope this concept is clear we will continue with base system in the next video thanks for watching